Hello, I'm Sarah Simon, the Mint Gardener, and it is such an honor to be here speaking to you, the Archer and Olive community. You may have seen my name pop up in Archer and Olive for a few years now. Uh, this most recent collaboration between Bonnie and I and the Archer and Olive community, um, The Creative Way, is one of many that we have done together, um, but is so unique and special that we thought filming a little bit about the making of the process of the book and kind of how it came to be would be really exciting for you all to see. Bonnie and I met and resonated with the fact that as creatives, it is so wonderful to be able to have blank pages, but it's also so wonderful to be able to create in community. And since we can't all gather together all over this great big world of ours, um, one of the best ways to do that is in a book. Oftentimes it's hard to know where to begin, right? Uh, knowing I struggle with that as a professional too. I want to feel that creative itch and that urge, but ideas don't always come like this incredible waterfall torrent. Um, oftentimes I sit down at my desk and I'm like, okay, what to work on next? Um, and that's really what this Creative Way journal is. It's an invitation into 15 to 20 minutes of your day today, and then a promise of a fun activity tomorrow or the next day when you can pick it up and you have the time to invest. Um, taking that quiet time to work with our hands uh, is a recharge that we don't often get in our modern world. Um, you all know because you're here, but it is that activity of soaking in your surroundings, translating that through your hands. And whether it's through the colors that you choose to put on your page or the adjectives that describe your day, um, it's an invitation to process your world and to communicate it either to the page, to your friends that you're wanting to create with, um, or just for yourself as a journal. Um, to work through life. So during the creation of this book, uh, Bonnie and I spent some time talking about it. So I um, created these 10 lessons and um, as you're creating, life doesn't stop, right? It, it continues at a wild pace. And um, I remember one of the lessons I was working through and processing um, the fact that my brother was going through uh, cancer treatment chemotherapy. And still to this day, he's great, by the way, praise God. Um, but still to this day, uh, as I am painting and looking at that project, I remember how it made me feel and how I was processing grief and frustration. And um, it's kind of a cool way to look back and go, wow, um, this was hard. This was a hard season. Um, I'm really glad I created this art because it helped me process it and the colors that I use uh, bring me back to it and the feelings that I was there. Um, do you have that? Another lesson that I was creating in here um, while we were processing this book, it's been many months and over a year that we've been creating this book. But um, during another lesson, I was actually getting ready for my friend's wedding. And so that going back to that piece of art brings me so much joy and anticipation. I can still feel like, oh, what are the flowers going to look like? Um, she had me help with her big arbor. So it was kind of just this fun, exciting anticipation of something coming. And I can feel that again as I create in this book and look through these lessons that I created for a creative way. We all live very full lives. You know, we have families and friends and jobs. Um, demands everything on us and in many ways sitting down to create almost feels like a guilty extravagance. I have learned that it is not an extravagance. I really believe that creating is one of those things that you need uh, for your daily mental health. So this book is an invitation to have those quiet moments um, 
even when you're not feeling particularly creative, but because you, you want to do it for the good of your mental health, your body health. I joke that it's the best for my family when I take the time to create. When you can bring your best self forward, um, it's not selfish, right? In this book, I also encourage you to don't worry about conventional tools. Sure, use some beautiful paint if you have it, but if you don't, no worries. Borrow some markers, use some flower petals, press flower petals into the collage page, use beautiful fall leaves to smear some ink, anything that can help make a mark to process. Um, you do not have to have drawing skills in order to create. Can I say that again? You do not have to have any drawing skills in order to create. We are creating art with a little a, okay? This is not the art that is gonna be hanging up in museums. Who knows? Maybe it will be, you never know, right? But most likely you're going to create in this journal for freedom. This is the place where you make mistakes, where you try new things and you kind of push those boundaries of where you're comfortable. Maybe you've been wanting to try a dip pen with some calligraphy ink and you're not sure where to do it. I don't want these pages to feel precious. I want them to feel like your favorite pillow or your favorite sweater, right? You don't mind if it gets a little bit of tea dropped on it as you're drinking because you're enjoying it. You're living it. You're you're doing it, right? You're sitting down, you're creating. I want like you to use your teacup and leave a ring on these pages. The first thing you need to do is mark who this book belongs to in those front pages. Oh, and write your phone number in it too, just in case it happens to be left at a coffee shop so that you can find it again. Um, but those are my encouragements is just to sit down, write your name in it, make a mark, and then turn the next page. You don't need to have a creative intention before you buy this book. This book will help you develop a creative intention. Um, it's made so that each page invites you into the next. Uh, there's lots of pages for reflection. Um, asking how a certain exercise made you feel. And if you were to do it differently, what would you do next time? Um, so that's what this book is about. It's about learning to play with creativity, not worrying about making anything perfect, creating art with a little A, that then you create hours and hours and hours of this little art or just even a really wonderful little ritual just for yourself to recharge and to tune in to how you're feeling in this season and then to invite your friends into it. There's another lesson in here that uh, encourages you to sit down with a friend and draw together. Kind of think of this book as a warm hug, hot, a hot cup of tea. It's going to be something that um, leads you with words and with images and then invites you gently to participate in the adventure of each page. So I'm sincerely so excited to see uh, you work in your Creative Way journal. Um, I would love, 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 love to hear and see how you're savoring your journal. So we created a hashtag uh, for this journal, The Creative Way, and I want to hear the creative way of how you're using your journal, whether it's a creative way to process grief, a creative way to process frustration, a creative way to start my morning, a creative way to sneak a few minutes in in the evening, um, a creative way to have coffee with your friends, a creative way to travel, just a creative way to make a few marks. Uh, I invite you in and I cannot wait to see how you play in these pages and mark them all up and make them your own. Thanks so much for joining me for these moments. And uh, I sincerely uh, cannot wait to see how you enjoy a creative way. And I'm looking forward to seeing your art. <laughs>